Blessings, everyone. It's sure good to see you. Uh, I was, uh, I met a young lady today and she asked me a question and I answered her and ended up mentioning the tribulation and she wanted to know what that was. And I said, you've never heard that word? And she goes, no. And um, probably of a different faith um, where reading the Bible is not as... Um, pushed as it should be because the only way to be a Christian is to read the Bible every day uh, get it in your heart get it in your spirit study it okay so let's answer this question what is the tribulation the tribulation is a future seven-year period of time when God will finish his discipline of Israel and finalize his judgment of the unbelieving world that means everyone the church made up of all who have trusted in the person and work of the Lord Jesus Christ to save them from being punished for sin will not be present during the tribulation. The church will be removed from the earth in an event known as the rapture. Rapture means to pick up, to snatch up, to rescue, to save. And God has names that actually, as a matter of fact, Jesus Original name Yeshua means to Yeshuv, to save, to save and salvation. Okay, so let's go back. <clears throat> the church is made up of all, I just read that part. The church will be removed from the earth in the event known as the rapture. Um, let me read you one little scripture about it. Behold, this is 1 Corinthians 15. 51 through 53, behold, I will give you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment in the blink twinkling of an eye at the last trump, trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable, forever immortal, and will be changed from this perishable body into the unperishable or the body that lives forever and ever okay so let's go back um the church is saved from the wrath to come god doesn't that god doesn't judge the the wicked with the righteous so when he destroys the wicked the righteous are giving given an escape so um this is what this is what he's talking about here the church is saved from the wrath to come through scripture the tribulation is referred to by other names such as the day of the lord and uh trouble day of trouble the great tribulation which refers to the more intense second half of the seven year period uh so this is all written in the Bible. Basically, it is a time when the most horrifying things that have ever happened in the world will happen. And I'm going to read you one scripture because this is a very, very, very long topic. And even, uh, I mean, it's detailed and there's a whole lot to it. It would be a whole lot to just teach you what that is very but i'm giving you an idea right here um and this is what matt this is what jesus christ himself said um let me just read to you his description of what's going to happen okay i should have started there jesus went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came with him for to show them him the built them the buildings of the, for to show him the building of the temple and jesus said unto them do you do you see all these things? Do you not see all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be one stone upon another. They shall be all thrown down. In other words, it's going to fall to the ground. And it did. As he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of your coming? Jesus answered and said to them, take heed, be forewarned that no man deceive you. So these days are days of great deception. Make no mistake. You must know what the Bible says or you're not going to make it. Uh, and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. 
See that you shall not see that you be not troubled, for these things must come to pass. The end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines, there shall be pestilences, and earthquakes in different places. These are but the beginnings, the beginnings of sorrows, or uh, some so it used to say the beginning of many woes, woes. There shall they shall deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. People don't like Christians if they love the world. Ask people in Hollywood what they think about Jesus Christ. Um, and many shall be offended and betray one another, shall hate one another. Many, many, many false prophets shall arise. They already have. And deceive many, they already have, and there'll be many, many more. And because sin, iniquity shall be everywhere, shall abound, the love of many shall become cold. People become more cold-blooded. I'm sure you've noticed that. But he that endures until the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. When you therefore see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, let those who understand, let those who read understand. Now this is a complicated scripture and takes study to understand, but it's talking about the time of the Antichrist. Then let them which are in Judea flee into the mountains, that would be in Israel, and let those who are on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is, in the, which is in the field go back to take his clothes. And woe unto those that are with child and those that are nursing little children in those days, babies. And pray that your flight, your escape, not be in the winter, neither, are on, neither on the Shabbat. For then there shall be great tribulation. Tribulation means trouble, persecution, everything under the sun, every kind of trouble, straits. That you can imagine. There shall be such great tribulation, such as never has been since the beginning of the world to this time, nor shall there ever be, except those days shall be shortened. There shall no flesh be saved. For for the sake of the elect, those of the Lord, those the children of the Lord, those days shall be shortened. And if any man say to you, look, go over there to the desert, he's in Christ. No, he's in some cathedral in Mexico. No, he's someplace else. In the mountains, Jesus said, believe them not. Uh, do not go. For as the lightning comes from the east out of the west and shines even towards uh, from the east. Yeah. And shines even towards the west. So shall be the coming of the son of man. For wheresoever the carcass is or the body the corpse, actually. There the vultures will gather together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun shall be darkened, the moon shall not give her light, the stars shall begin to fall from the heavens, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. But don't, I'm going to stop there. That's Matthew 24, 31, because it's a lot. That's a lot. I just gave you a whole lot of homework. If you don't have a Bible, please let me know. I have some. And I can try to get some, um, but uh, you have to read the word. This is Matthew 24. I hope and pray this blessed you and gave you some insight. And please leave a comment. Please share. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, I pray for everyone who subscribes to my channel. Um, and I do my best to teach you how to get closer to Jesus Christ. Ask him into your heart if you have not already. Repent of your sins and ask the Holy Spirit to come in. And for the two young ladies, one named Nancy that asked me to make this video, I will go over there and pray for you. So contact me. Much love and many blessings to you all.